Hey guys, John here. Um, just with a tutorial on on Magento with uh, importing and exporting images in bulk. Now, first of all, with this video, just um, probably the best thing for you to do is is actually try to um put the put it to full screen and put the resolution to the highest, um, as you might not be able to see details in the small YouTube window. So this has been a topic that's been discussed for years it seems since 2011 i've had this problem with magento so i thought what i'd do is i'd make a video uh this video um is going to pretty much show you the solution for when you try to import a csv and the images don't get imported so the first thing you need to do and i'll outline this in in the in the link below is the image that you want imported you need to put in a, in a certain directory now that that actual um, directory is uh, I'll just get that for sorry I actually just forgot that uh, that is uh, media slash import okay now that's that should be in uh, already in your uh, magento uh, subdirectories um, on FTP if it's not create it now, simply put your file in there, and that's the image that you're wanting to import. Okay, that, it's as simple as that. Now, what you have to do is, is export the image, um, uh, like the image data file, I guess you'd call it, uh, into, and then, then re-import the actual CSV, just for the images, with the actual image name. So, uh, what I'll do here is I'll just do an example. So what you do is you go to our uh, system, you go to uh, uh, data flow profiles. Now the best thing to do is create two data flow profiles. As you can see, we've got standard ones like import all products, export all products. Uh, I created two of them: export bulk uh, images and import bulk images. So let's look at the export one first that I've created. And look at the fields I've put in. So uh, this is the location where it actually is going to export to, which is on your FTP, which is var forward slash export. Uh, what you do now is, um, whoops, okay. Uh, we scroll down and. We, we get all the field mapping. So all we need is the, well, this is all I need. SKU image, small image, small image label, thumbnail, thumbnail label, uh, and image label. And, um, and what you need to do is just uh, put in all those field mappings uh, and, and then match them up. It's as simple as that. And obviously on this side, it's what's going to show on the file when you export it. Okay, the SKU, I'm just wanting to a, a specific SKU at this stage, and, and that's about it. So what you do is you go to run profile and run it. What it'll do is it'll actually export the file into your VAR forward slash export as whatever you've named the file, which will be up here. As you can see, I've, I've named it as image export.csv. Okay, uh, so we just go to the actual spreadsheet now. One moment. Okay, now this is the um, the obvious uh, field now. So uh, in column A, you're going to see your SKUs that that you've you've actually wanted to to um, export. Okay, so in my case, the file that I uploaded. Remember, we uploaded that file. The name was 17.jpg. Okay, so what we do is just get that in there now. This is just the base image column here. Obviously, these are small images over here. So, um, if you're wanting the small and other thumbnail images, you're going to have to make sure that you know um, in, in any of your products they they're actually in you know listed there. Okay, so uh, for for just demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do the base image. Uh, what we do is we we click on save, click on yes. Okay, and we go back, and now we go to the 
now we go to bulk image import. And um, as you can see, the data flow profile that I have created has got the same fields in the field mapping. Uh, the data format, CSV, the delimiter, uh, values, um, uh, you know, this, this obviously is left to know. Uh, and what we do is we select the file we want to upload. Now we scroll down. And then we get that image export file. We click on save and continue. Uh, okay. And then we go to run profile. Then we select the file. Obviously, save and, con yep, save and continue. Then we go to run profile. And there's our file. When you actually save it and upload it, it's going to save the date, which is really good. So, you know, if you, you know, after a while, when you do have a lot of products, um, that actual date field where it has 2013, for example, and a bunch of numbers after that does help. So, what you do is um, you run it. Okay, simple as like any normal mass import you just run that uh, and and if you've done everything right everything will be uh, in the actual um, uh, the image tab and, and the product edit so uh, I'll just run it now what my as I've got over a hundred thousand products listed uh, it'll probably keel over at the end I'll show you what I mean okay. So what we're doing is it's just obviously uploading. Now when it gets to the indexing part, this shouldn't take too long. Obviously, if you've got a lot of products, in my case, I have to run the indexer via, uh, via PuTTY because I've just got too many products and it's a, just my own specialized script. Uh, but, but it's as simple as that. Once that's done, um, you'll be able to go check the images. I won't go show you, but I'm 100% sure that, you know, the, the images are in there. Uh, if you've got any issues, just feel free to drop me a message and um, either me or my team can actually um, help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.